G'day folks, Rico here. Today I'm gonna to show you, well, not me, these two good looking roosters, are gonna show you exactly how to set up the awning on your Lincoln Mark III. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is locate this. This is gonna be your holy grail, your Bible. Without this, the job is gonna be very, very difficult. So make sure you've got one of these and maybe even a spare one. Get it laminated and keep it in the trailer. If you've got this, the job is gonna be a lot easier. On your tent setup sheet, you'll notice that everything's color coded. And what we're looking for here is everything that's in black. That's going to be the framework for our awning. The next thing you'll notice on the tent setup sheet is they've actually gone ahead and laid out all the poles for you with the corresponding numbers as well. So when you pull your great big bag of poles out, you can go through and find the ones that you're looking for. A1, A2, B2 and so on. Just to make it really easy to find, all of your poles should already be numbered as well. So you can go ahead and find the poles that correspond with what you need on the sheet. Here you can see we found the A1. Alright, here's one of Marty's pro tips. Marty is one of the guys from the Landsvale store and he sets these up all the time. That's why I've got the boys out here giving me a hand because they know all the little shortcuts that are going to make the job so much easier. The first thing that you're going to want to do is grab the poles that have a hook on one end and an eyelet on the other and we're going to get those laid out all the way across the trailer. Up in here is actually a little eyelet that it's going to clip into. Go ahead and put that in there mate. Just like that. So go ahead, do that one and go along and do all of them. Alright, here's the secret tip number two. Before you go ahead and zip your awning on, just lower down some of these bow poles that are inside the trailer going to make it a lot easier to reach as well. Now it's time to grab your canvas and it's important to make sure you get it the right way around. Once you've located the zipper you'll notice that one end has a starter on it and the other end has a stopper. Now the starter is the one that's going to be fed into the tent itself so let's go ahead and do that. Setting up the annex is like any job with a camper trailer. You can certainly do it yourself, and it takes a little bit of practice, but it's always much easier when you've got a second pair of hands. All the boys are doing now is just patiently zipping that up all the way along. One of the boys have gone inside so that they can reach up to the top. And the zipper itself has got a little rope attached to it as well, which makes it a little bit easier to grab if you are doing it by yourself. Now you can see here that the boys have gone ahead and laid out all the poles on the ground, roughly in the positions that they've got to go. And if you're lucky enough to be working with two pairs of hands, the best way to go about this is to start in the centre and work your way out. So you need to grab that C1 pole from the centre, get it roughly where you need it, grab an upright and a couple of spreaders. They've got to go on first. Make sure the spreaders go onto the spigots first. And now it's simply a case of just continuing the, the pattern. Get an upright, put it on there, grab your C1 that runs from the tent, put that on top of the spigot, line up your next spreader, and that goes across to your next upright.
You can see the little elastic bungees with a hook on the end. There's a hole in the pole. That's exactly what they're designed to do, is just hold that canvas down on top of the pole for you. Now, unless you happen to be absolutely gifted and a seven foot tall, your best friend on one of these sort of jobs is gonna be this, the humble step ladder. Now, you can see here we're almost ready, but just up the top here, the spigots come out of the canvas. There's not much you can do about that, and that's gonna happen from time to time, and it's a lot easier to sort that out if you've got something like this with you. It fits nicely in the trailer, so make sure you take one along with you. Once the main structure's up, then you can go around and adjust your poles and get them nice and tight. Get all your little Velcros locked around the poles to stop the canvas from flapping around. And again, this is where the step ladder's gonna come in very handy. Alright, the last step is don't forget to put those bow poles inside the tent back up. And of course, don't forget to put your spreaders back in place as well. Now look, I know what you're thinking folks, if you've already had a crack at this and failed, you're going to think that we've used some sort of trickery here, but the boys have just shown you and proven how quick and easy it is once you've got the hang of it. And that's the key. You do need to work at it. Your two things you're going to need. You're going to need, of course, your little tent sheet that tells you which all the poles are and the secret weapon, the little step ladder. It really does make the job that much easier. Now for more tips, tricks, hints and hacks and things that we've learned from towing easy trails all over the countryside, make sure you go to the Facebook page, give that a like and a follow, and while you're online, jump over to the YouTube channel, you'll see plenty more videos there as well, and be sure to subscribe. Easy Trail, they really are making camping easy.